All right, I want to start off by saying Brakatha Yahawu, Brakatha Yaharashai, Brakatha Yahawu, Brakatha Yaharashai, Call Halau Yahawu by Shim Yaharashai, Call Halau Yahawu by Shim Yaharashai, by Shim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, that great millstone that told me this doctrine and truth and sincerity. Shalom to elect. The Heavenly Father's name is Yahawu, which means he is or he exists. By Shim in the name of his only begotten Son of the world, ignorant calls Jesus Christ. We know his name to be Yaharashai which means he is the deliverer, he is the savior for the Hebrew Israelites from the pedigree of your father, Ba'ashim, and the name of the Rukak Kodash, which means the Holy Spirit, that he will give us the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of who we are, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. If you're so-called Negro, so-called Latino, so-called Native American, or of the speckled bird looking like the other nations and your spirit bear witness with this doctrine, you could be one of the let. Shalom. We've been discontinued from our heritage because we went off not following the law, statute, and commandments, that was given to us by our forefathers, worshiping after false gods and false idols. And because of those offenses, we were sent into captivity under our oppressors. And right now, we're still under captivity under our oppressors, right? Which is Esau, Edom, the wicked that it speaks about in the scriptures that would have the fatness of the earth and would control it with the great sword. But meanwhile, on the right-hand side, the Lord is raising up men, the servants of Yahweh Hashem Hashai, that have the light, that have the wisdom to be able to give us uh, comfort through the spirit of the Ruach HaKadosh. Okay, that's through Yaharashah being that perfect lamb, that sacrifice, uh, showing mercy on his elect. Because again, out of Israel, there's actually elect. There's a residue of, uh, of men and believers that are going to be able to have the understanding of the scriptures and that are going to be able to endure to the end. Okay, and we're praying that we're of that uh, of that flock of the tabernacle of David, because again, right now, prophecies are happening left and right. You know, you have the karagma, which is a graven image in your forehead or in your hand, something that's physical that they want to put inside of you, okay, to have you be a perpetual slave, to be linked into their technocracy. That's what the Great Reset is all about. All these things are preludes to to that point. Okay, then you see the wars and the rumors of wars, okay, all over the world. Again, this is a worldwide agenda that uh, Esau has to bring in his Novus Ordus Aquarium, which is on the back of your dollar bill, new, their new world order. And how do they do that? By um, order out of chaos in the Latin, which is order out of chaos. These uh, staged events where they're able to um, promote fear, pushing forth uh, fear mongering, you know, controlling the masses. Mass goes back to death, okay? And with that great sword comes, again, many different variations. You have their military force where they're in over uh, 80 countries, you know, with their um, in over 800 uh, military bases. And those are just the ones on record where they're able to push forth their democracy, which creates a tyranny, which, which creates um, woman on woman, transformers, you know, the woman over the man, creates a separation among um, the families there, bringing in their... Um, their abominations, their philosophies. That's what the beast system is. Okay, you have the whore, which is Babylon the Great, okay, which they push forth the vibration all around the world of um, of wickedness, of abominations through their beast system, you know, through their NATO and the EU, through the, the three unclean frogs, okay, you know, their, their monetary system, their, their uh, you know, Vatican system, and then you have their, their military force, which is the hammer. Okay, and when all these things are able to control the world, but they were given that power by Yahweh Shem Yahashai. Yahweh Shem Yahashai is the one that um, gives the power um, to the left-hand side and the right-hand side. We're just praying we're of the, of the right-hand side. And what they're doing right here is they're bringing in a thing called disinformation. Now, this has been out uh, for a couple years now, far as when that thing came out a couple years ago, okay, that they've been pushing forth, right? And now they're saying... You know, peace and safety, but we know when they say peace and safety, sudden destruction shall come. And that's what's happening because everything is, is brewing up, okay? And something has to uh, pop off to be able to um, bring these elites to the next step. And the brothers, um, the servants of Yahabah Shemashai should be rejoicing right now because, again, this is showing you that these words are faithful and true. Meanwhile, you have... Uh, you know, Esau on the left-hand side through his unrighteous decrees bringing out um, this disinformation act, okay? Me and the brother uh, Ash were speaking about it uh, yesterday, you know, because I had this article yesterday. 
And um, and then at that same time, they were bringing forth their legislation. Okay. And I'm going to touch on both of these, which is uh, the DHS. Okay. It says the DHS standing up disinformation government's board led by information warfare, uh, warfare expert. So again, they're trying to control the information that goes back to Operation Mockingbird that I think it came around in the, like the 1960s where they were controlling, they said they were controlling the media, which we know they are doing right now. They own all the small hats, which are uh, Esau Edom. They own uh, ABC, Fox News. They own YouTube. They own Twitter, but they still can't stop this word. Again, that's the real cockadash. So I'm going to go back to this um, article, then I'll go back to that one. This is their technology that they're using. This is Cybra gets 5.6 million Series A to launch news inf disinformation stock and news disinformation detection analysis tools. So again, they're ramping up their their science, okay, their their um, inventions to be able to bring them in to fight against the men of the Lord, to be able to uh, stop this word. But again, they can't stop this word. Because, again, they're not in control. The, the true power, the omnipotent power is Yahweh Shemar Hashai. Let me get a scripture just to back that up. I'm going to get a... Let me start a new one. This is 1 Samuel 2 and 6. <coughs> Just to show you that our Lord is the one that's in control, okay? These devils are not in control of anything. There's a time and a season that they were meant to reign, okay? And the, the Lord, according to 2 Ezra 4, that he will not at all stir it up. And he's not a man that will lie. 1 Samuel uh, 2 and 6. Yeah, I'll start from 6. 1 Samuel 2 and 6. The Lord Yahweh killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and he bringeth up. So again, he brought Esau, Edom, which is the basis of men. He brought him up to where he's at now with all his military force, you know, his his prestige, his so-called, you know, he's one of those uh, good guys. Okay, the Lord built that up. That's that's his pride. Because, uh, again, the deceive and the deceiver are Yahweh Shemar Hashai's. It says, uh, 7, the Lord Yahweh maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and he lifted up. Yeah, so he, could bring, he brought us, which are the Hebrew Israelites, to a low estate. Why? Because, again, our offenses. Because he loves us. He uh, chastised us. OK, and he didn't he didn't put, bring us. Let me just get that real quick. He didn't do that to, um, you know, to, to, to destroy us. OK, he did. That was actually a sign of love because Esau, he doesn't love. Right. It says in the scriptures that he is a bastard child. OK, this is real quick. This is Baruch four and uh, six. You were sold to the nation. So again, we were sold to the to our oppressors under the um, the Babylonian captivity, this the Syrian captivity, you know, the Medo Persian captivity, Egypt, okay, uh, Rome. We were sold, and right now we're still in captivity. Okay, none of us are free. We're all bound by the contracts that they have on us through the birth certificate, okay, through your license, right? And again, that's why we can't be a cardinal. We gotta uh, fret not. We gotta trust in the Lord. OK, but we still push this word with a great boldness because that's what he told us to do. Uh, John 21 and 17, if you love me, feed my sheep. And that's what we're supposed to be doing, feeding the sheep, whatever knowledge that you have learned. OK, studying that show thyself improve. So Baruch 4 and 6, you were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved Yahweh to wrath, you were delivered unto your enemies. So, again, we were delivered unto our enemies. Why? Because of our fences. Because we, we pushed Yahweh Shema Hashai to wrath because we were worshiping after false gods. Okay, so we were put to a low estate. But right now, on the right hand side, Yahweh Shema Hashai is lifting us up, that great light that shines in a dark place. So, real quick, this is Isaiah 45 and 7, just showing uh, our Lord is omnipotent. Okay. It says, um, let me start from 6, Isaiah 45 and 6. They that may know from the rising, let me, uh, Sakia 5. I am the Lord Yahweh, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I girded thee th through thou hast not known me. So again, he has equipped you for battle, okay, with this word. Okay, this word is is um, a fire. Let me get that. This word is a fire to Esau Edom's kingdom. And that's why he's pushing this uh, disinformation. This is Jeremiah 5 and 14. Wherefore, thus said, 
Yahweh of our power of hosts, yes, so of armies, because you speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and this people would, and it shall devour them. So again, that's what's going on right now. This word is uh, devouring them, putting them at a low estate. It's exposing them. It's lifting up that skirt of that whore. Sake, I don't know why. Yeah, 29. It says, Jeremiah 23 and 29. Is not my word like as a fire, said the Lord Yahweh, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces? So again, this kingdom is being broken down by the words of Yahweh Shemir Ashai. Because again, we're, um, the, the words of a king are, okay, <laughs> that is power. And, and then um, Yahweh Shemir Ashai is raising up kings, okay, a, a princes, a royal priesthood, okay, as it speaks about, um, you know, Romans 8 and 17. Okay, so going back to Jeremiah 45 and 5, I am the Lord, Yahweh, there is none else, there is no God beside me. I girded thee through, thou hast not known me. 6, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west, for there is none beside me. I am Yahweh, and there is none else. 7, I form the light. So he, again, um, Yahweh Shema Hashai, Yahweh is, is the potter, and we are the clay. We are the vessels either created to honor or dishonor, and we're praying that we're able to endure it to be honored, which, which is uh, the form of the, which is the elect. I form the light, yes, yeah, so I form the wisdom, I create darkness, and what is that darkness? Obscurity, okay, it's something that you don't know, it's awkward, that's what, that's Esau Edom, okay, I make peace, I create evil, so evil goes back to bad times, I, the Lord, Yahweh, do all these things, so again, he does all these things as his pleasure, because again, he's wrote in this book from the beginning, okay, it speaks about in the next chapter, Isaiah 46, and I'll just get that, and uh, 10. Okay, just to show you that Yahweh Shema Shai is the one that's in control. He's the one that's doing his pleasure. Okay. Okay, I, let me start from 9. Isaiah 46 and 9. Remember the former things of old, for I am Yahweh, there is none else. I am Yahweh, there is none like me. So again, the former things of old, the flood that um, with Noah. Okay, when Noah prophesied for 120 years and the people didn't listen, we're in the same times of Noah. We're in those same times where people were in that merch spirit. Okay, so he's saying, remember those times. Okay, Isaiah 46 and 10, the former things, and now he's the new things are happening, right? Isaiah 46 and 10, declaring the end from the beginning and from the ancient times. Yeah, that's Yahweh. The things that are not yet, because again, he has no beginning or end. That are not yet done, saying, My counsel, my counsel, so that the men of the Lord on the right hand side, starting with Yahweh Shai, you know, King David and the, the apostles and the elders, the men on down that are pushing this word and fervency, that are speaking a like mind doctrine, okay, are putting fire to this place, are breaking the rocks into pieces. This is the things that are not done, saying, My counsel shall stand, I will do all my pleasure. Yes, yeah, so he's the one that's going to do all his pleasure. Esau Edom is, is, is under rulership. He is obedient to Yahweh Hashem Shai. Okay, he can't do nothing without um, the consent of Yahweh Hashem Shai. Okay, and real quick, just to back that up, this is Sirach forty-two and eighteen. He seeketh out the deep in the heart and consider their crafty devices. And again, this is a crafty device. I'm going to go back to the article where they're trying to bring out this technology. Okay, to be able to stop this information. But but again, Esau Edom is a cardinal man. Okay, he doesn't understand the, the spirituality of this. This is all spiritual. You can't stop it. It says, he seeketh out the deep heart and consider their crafty devices. And again, and Esau is a crafty hunter. And what is he doing? He's hunting down the people. Okay, starting with the men of the Lord. For the Lord... Yahweh Shemar Shai knoweth all that be known, and he belongeth to the signs of the world. 19. He declared that things are past, and for to come reveal the steps of the hidden things. So again, these hidden things are being exposed through the prophets, because again, that's how um, Yahweh Shemar Shai speaks, is through his prophets. That's why when you see the prophets on the scene, that means that another regime is being put down. Okay, a kingdom is being put down. Right? I'm going to get that. That's in uh, Daniel. Okay, 20, no thought escapeth him, neither any word is hidden from him. Because again, we read in um, Isaiah 46 and 10 that he's the one that's uh, actually doing it. There's none else beside him, right? 21, he hath garnished the excellent works of his wisdom. He is from the everlasting to everlasting unto him. May nothing be added, neither can it be di diminished. And he had no need of a counselor. So again, Yahweh doesn't go and answer to anybody else, okay? He gives the order out to Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is obedient. They are in one accord, and then he gives it to the Alahayim, which is the ones 
that are down with down with righteousness. Okay, and then that also goes on to the left hand side. They whatever the order is, he um Yahweh Shem Shai is the true hitman. Okay, whatever that uh, he he uh, you know says goes. Okay, and he's already declared it again from the beginning. Declared the end from the beginning, as I read in Isaiah 46, 22. Oh, how desirable all his works, and that a man may see even to spark, 23. And this is the point right here. It says, all these things live and remain forever for all uses, and they are all obedient. So again, they're all obedient. On the left-hand side, Satan's not just going out and doing his own thing. Okay, he's in perfect order. And it speaks about that in um, Job 2. Where it says, Satan, where have you been? You know, he said, wandering to and fro from the earth. He's in he's in perfect order. Okay? 24. Because, uh, again, a man's goings are of the Lord. So, Sirach 42 and 24. All things are double one against another, and he had made nothing imperfect. Yeah, so, again, um, you know, this, this also goes into Sirach um, 33. We're speaking about good is set against evil. So, as you have Esau... Coming down with his wrath on the left hand side, you have the men of the Lord pushing forth that uh, that, that fervent heat. Okay, so I just wanted to get that you know showing that our Lord is omnipotent because people would just want to they think that our Lord is just uh, good. Yeah, His ways are good. Okay, because again, His ways are above yours. Okay, He knows all and he, He's the ancient of times. So again, this is a different uh, disinformation te tactician. Analysis tools. So again, misinformation and disinformation content is continuing to increase across the social media channels and its effect have impacted every type of organization from the public to a private organization. So again, what organization? Let's just look that word up. Because again, Esau, Edom, or, or Babylon the Great is a business, okay? This is a corporate business. That's why when you look on your birth certificate, you have, um, you're, you're in all capital letters, okay? Everything's accounted for you. This is not a, a, a free country, okay? As people like to say, you know, people that are slow, right? It says an organization is an entity such as a company, an institution. Yeah, this is exactly what Babylon the Great is. Or an association comprising one or more people having a particular purpose. The world is derived from the Greek word. Wow. So the word is derived from the Greek word. And, and aren't we under a Greek captivity? Okay. The Grecians, which are the Edomites, which means tool or instrument, musical instrument and organ. So again, they're pushing for their, um, their um, song of, of unrighteousness. Okay. And we're pushing for that new song. Okay. And that, that reminds me of... a. Um, you know, a verse that's Isaiah 32 and a seven, because th this is their instruments that they're using, which is a uh, wickedness. OK, this is uh, right here. Isaiah 32 and five, the vile person shall no more be called liberal, nor the churl said to be bountiful. So, again, when you go, the vile person is Esau, Edom, the self-proclaimed white man. OK, the elites, the banksters, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Oppenheimers, the DuPonts. OK, these are the ones that are pushing forth their democracy, their wickedness and their tyranny. OK, and this word uh, churl, when you go into it, go into it, it goes into a uh, scoundrel. OK, it goes into niggerly because, again, Esau is the true nigga. You know, when he he's pushing forth his, his wickedness, his, um, you know, his philosophies, his man, oh, man, woman, oh, woman, you know, his, um, you know, his white uh, Roman Catholicism. Okay, his white images, that's being niggerly. That's being a churl. Six, for the vile person would speak violently and his heart will work iniquity. So again, that iniquity goes into sin upon sin. To practice hypocrisy, yeah. So he'll, for instance, uh, one thing that they're saying about, um, you know, Vladimir Putin. Now we know he's Esau, but the thing is what they're trying to push is that he is, uh, um, he needs to be charged for war crimes. Meanwhile, they're being exposed over there in Afghanistan for their war crimes that they did in, in many different places, right? But how they're controlling it is by the um, Operation Mockingbird. They're able to control the, the Western media, okay? But this truth is still getting exposed through Yahabba Shemir Shai, giving the order to the men of the Lord to um, filter what's going on, to be those watchmen, and to be able to give our people warning, okay? It says, the heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy and to utter error against Yahweh, to make empty the soul of the hungry, and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. So again, what is he trying to do? He's saying disinformation. Now, if you're calling yourself black, 
He's okay with that. If you're calling yourself a, 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 a Pan African, African, he's okay with that. But as soon as you call yourself a, a true Hebrew Israelite, okay, and you're pushing the true doctrine, guess you, you're going to make yourself a prey. Isaiah 59 and 15. Okay, you start to make yourself a prey in this world because again, um, they hate they um, ultimately they hate Yaharashai and they hate that him that sent him, which is Yahweh, because they don't understand order. Okay. They are the vile person. Seven, the instrument. This is the point of it. The instruments. And one of the things that they're using is their instruments, their technology to try to stop uh, this word, which they're, they can't they can't stop this word because, again, they're not in control. It says the instruments also of a jurl are evil. They devise wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words. Yeah. So, again, they're <laughs> lying words because what are they trying to uh, control? The narrative over there in Ukraine. To say that they're good people, that, you know, Ukraine's just their angels, you know, Vladimir Putin, he's very bad. And we're very, and then, and then Babylon the Great, they're just, you know, they're angels too. They never done nothing wrong or nothing like that. Again, that's that hypocrisy. It says the instruments also of a churl, so the instruments of a scoundrel are evil. He devises wicked devices to destroy the poor with his lying words, even when the needy speaketh right. So again, even when the uh, the prophets of Yahweh Shemashai speak right things, they what try to push forth their democracy by using their information by uh, Slaki, their their uh, instruments, okay, their crafty devices. So going back to it, and that's through their their organizations, okay. Okay, so it says um, it says a Tel Aviv, so an Israel based starting called yeah, so. Over there, the, uh, over there in Israel, those are not the true people. Those are the small hats. Those are the ones that are humping the walls, okay. And there's no peace over there, showing you that those are not the people, okay. They're the they're Amalek. They're the ones that control um, the world, okay. They're the head tribe of Esau, because what is uh, um, what do they have over there in Tel Aviv? They have a pink city, okay. You have uh, the Muslims and you have the Christians all in the same um, synagogue, and we know that. Yahweh Shema Shai does not dwell in a place made with hands. So how is how is that? How are you the people? You're not because again, there's still wickedness. When when Yahweh Shai comes back after the destruction, there's going to be peace. There's going to be order. Okay, you're not going to be able to hump no more walls. Okay, so it says uh, Cyber has built SaaS platform that measures authenticity and impact within the online conversation detects false information. So what is false information? The uh, the thing that happened a couple years ago. Okay, the uh, karagma, the graven image in your forehead, anything that has to go go um, against what they're what they're trying to push their agenda. Okay, anything that exposes them, right? The online conversation detects false information and its authors and further analysis uh, and analyzes Slakia, it to connect the dots. So yeah, connect the dots to who who you're talking to. Okay, who you're talking to? Who who's who's subscribing to you? That's why they have a thing called. The, um, the red list and the blue list, okay, in which they're going to put people in these re-educational camps, okay, that's another thing what they would say that it's uh, the text fault, they would call that false information, but it's true, it's at our door, and the, the red list is the one that are pushing this word with, with, with fervent heat, okay, and the blue list is the one the ones that are believing, that are following it, even the mockers and the scoffers, they're on that list, because again, they're tracking your IP address, they're taking pictures of wherever that you're at, because again, Esau Edom has a God complex. I want to bring that out, Ezekiel 28 and 2. Okay, it says the startup announced it has closed 5.6 million series A round. Yeah, so they put $5.6 million into this. Okay, around as it releases several new dis several new disinformation detection analysis tools that help to increase authentic conversations, consumer influence, trends, and success repetition. Of companies a series so again we want to get this word disinformation this information is a subject of propaganda and is false information that is spread deliberately to deceive it is sometimes confused with misinformation which false information but is not deliberate now doesn't that sound confusing <laughs> that sounds confusing to me okay and right here, and this is what they're doing because it's actually, that's their propaganda. You know, and this is all the articles that they have that just came out today. Okay. And they want to be able. 
sake because I want to get two things actually. <clears throat> it won't let me go that way. So this is um, real quick. This is uh, data mining. It says data mining, the practice of analyzing large databases in order to generate new information. So again, they have an algorithm where they're able to you know hear your words. That's why they have uh, the transcripts. Okay, if you look on certain brothers' pages, they will have the transcripts as far as what you're saying. And what are they doing? Those transcripts are made to, so they can be able to uh, put in order, to be able to, um, you know, build a case against you. Meanwhile, we're building a case against um, uh, these devils. Okay, we're testifying against all the wickedness and the evil that they're pushing forth. So I want to get this word propaganda. Propaganda, it says that information, especially of a bias or a misleading nature, used to promote or publicize a particular political cause or point of view. So isn't isn't them um, over there that Ukraine making them angels? Isn't that a, polit a political reason? Why? Because they want to go to war. OK, they want to go to war with these people. Why? Because they want to control the resources. Uh, Russia has a lot of oil. They control a lot of fertilizer. They can right now they're shutting off people's lights. So if 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 uh, Babylon the Great doesn't have have that power or Esau doesn't have that power over there, as far as the elites, they can't go forth with their new world order. Okay, so this is all fighting over oil, which goes back to Genesis twenty seven and thirty nine when um when Isaac, which was your if you can receive it, gave the fatness of the earth. And when you go into that word fatness, it goes into the oil. Again, the resources and the dew of the earth. Because again, the dew of the earth is the best places. And they need that resource um, to be able to push forth their new world order. And when you go into where they have these, uh, the Nordstrom pipelines, okay, you have Russia has a pipeline and America has a pipeline. And where they cross at, where there's, there's going to be, that's the Valley of Jehoshaphat, which is Yahweh's judgment. Which ultimately, all these other these all these nations are going to meet up. They're going to bring all their arms to be able to fight over there, and ultimately, that's going to be their judgment. So that's why they're pushing forth that propaganda again. That's all prophecy, okay? As they were speaking about in the in the article right there, they want to be able to control the narrative. Uh, let me just get it, because again, they have a um, what is it called a god a god complex. <clears throat> and when this word is no more on the, um, you know, on the internet, people are going to be, I'm going to bring that out. Amos in 11. So Ezekiel 28 and two, son of man, I say unto you, Prince of Tyrus thus said, Yahabah Shemir Hashai, because thine heart. Yeah. So thy um, their mind, their mind is lifted up, right? When you go into that word heart, it goes in back to Lahab, which means your mind. It says, and thou hast said, I am God. I sit in the seat of God in the midst of the seas. Yet they are men. And not God, though they set their heart as heart of heart of God. So again, because they have been given this power, the pride has deceived them. Okay, they think that they can be able to accomplish whatever they want. Okay, which is always wicked. Ezekiel twenty eight and three. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret they can hide from thee. So again, they are wiser than Daniel. Daniel was a very wise man. Okay, he was actually given information to Necrobesi of of certain dreams and. and uh, you know that what's happening because again, why was he wise? Because Yahaba Shema Shai was supping with him, okay. And it says they are wiser than Daniel. Yeah, they've been given the power on the left hand side to create a uh, uh, wickedness, ultimately to bring in the kingdom, okay, of Yahaba Shema Shai. Ezekiel twenty eight and four, with thy wisdom, with thy understanding, and thou hast gotten thee riches, and has gotten gold and silver into treasures. So again, they have uh, taken over all these lands, taken out all their resources, took in their oil, took in their op uh, their drugs, the opi uh, opi fields. Okay, because that's what Afghanistan was all about, controlling those opi fields to be able to control what you see now when people walking around bugged out on that fentanyl. Ezekiel twenty eight, because ultimate, because Esau is the ultimate drug dealer. Okay, Ezekiel twenty eight and five. By the great wisdom and by thy traffic, thou hast increased thy riches, and thine heart is lifted up because of thy riches. So again, because of their pride, they are lifted up. They can be, think they can be able to, um, you know, do whatever they want. They think that they're in good case because, um, because of their riches, right? It says Proverbs sixteen and eighteen: Pride goeth before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. So again, their haughtiness goes into their pride. But again, as it speaks about in um. 
5. It's Proverbs 16 and 5. Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to Yahweh. Though hand join in hand, he shall not be unpunished. So again, this devil is not going to be unpunished for all the wickedness that he has done. Okay? And this is Proverbs 16 and 4. The Lord Yahweh had made all things for himself, yet even the wicked for the day of evil. So again, the day of evil. Because again, these missiles are going to be shot off at each other. Okay? And they're ultimately, that bow is going to fall, fall upon their own head. Okay, because again, their pride has deceived them, deceived them. They have a God complex. So it says, um, yeah, right here, it says around as it releases several new disinformation detection analysis tools that help to increase authentic conversations, consumer influence, trends, success, repetition of companies. Okay, so it says the... Those are some of the companies. I'm just trying to get the uh, the meat. It says uh, analysis, which enables customers to understand narratives and discover trends to have a finger on the pulse of the genuine conversation. So again, so they can be able to control the narrative. Because what do you see? Um, you see these uh, false prophets. You know, they have a lot of subscribers. Then you have like the hip hop. All the stupidity is made. Uh, all the stupidity is mainstream, and that's what they want to keep pushing. That's why they're not able to what, stop the internet, okay? So it says right here, it says, it says, Cybra serves customers across various industries, including financial services, consumer brands, advertising agencies, and public organizations with needed tools to uncover information and authentic narratives and authors, even to the likes of deep fakes to examine the influence of nefarious. So again, this word nefarious, it says a wicked or a criminal. And that's who exactly who Esau is. He is the wicked criminal. He's a vagabond, which means a person that wanders to and fro, fugitive, going back to Cain. Okay, and Esau is in that same spirit. Okay, for all the rape, rob, and murdering he has done. That's why he increases his place as hell. Uh, Habakkuk 2 and 5, he's nefarious. Conversations and fake news online. So that's what um, that's what a fugitive does. They'll start pointing the finger at someone else. No, nah, he did it. No, nah, they're, they're doing it. You know what I mean? To try to um, take the heat off them. But again, they can't stop this heat. Again, we read in the, the Jeremiah 5 and 14, this word is heat or fire. It says, we founded Cyber to bring authenticity to digital realm, offering solutions to help make sense of the abundance of noise and online conversations today. Uncover truths. And that's what we're, that's what the servants of Yahweh Shem Rashi are doing, are uncovering the truth, the secrets that are in a dark place. Within these narratives, said Birmingham, disinformation is no longer solidly a political issue. We're seeing consumer brands identify a serious need to examine their online repetition reputation slacking sentiment on the closed lenses we're excited to expand our footprint leadership team to offer these companies and the resources information they need to make data-driven decisions and combat uh, disinformation and this is some of the other programs that they have active force comes out of shadows with a hundred million dollars because what is the narrative they're trying to push that narrative that russia is the big bad wolf okay and they're just they're just you know um you know they're just uh, innocent people, okay? Meanwhile, they've gone to every place and, and destroyed it, right? Shadows with $100 million in funding with tech that detects online harm, not valued. So they're, they're putting a lot of money in this, $500 million. You have this thing called Blackbird. AI grabs $10 million to help brands counter disinformation. So again, all this money that they're trying to stop this word ultimately, Okay. So this is another one. This is called the, the brother, uh, the elder Yashawamba brought this out. You know, this is a thing called Babel Street. Okay. When you go into Babylon, it goes into the word Babel, which means confusion. And what this is, is this is a, um, this is a technology company that spies on people. Okay. And they use it for government issued and all these different things to be able to watch over you at all times. Babel Street empowers teams with critical insights on a single pane of glass for analysis, action, and mission success, Babel Street utilizes state of art, art logistics technology to discover, decipher actionable insights. So again, there's spying technology. 
Okay, Babel Streets offers dynamic and configurable ecosystem to discover, curate, enrich, diverse, multi-language data. Yeah, so whatever that your language is, they can be able to divert it and bring it back to what it is. That's what they have, the transcripts and all those things like that. So I just wanted to bring that out because that, uh, that was interesting. The elder brought that out, you know, this Babel Street technology, okay, because this is right aligned uh, what they're trying to do because eventually this word, this word, there's going to be a famine of the word. Let me just get that. <clears throat> you know, you, so if you're hearing this word right now, you know, that's a blessing. But again, this word, it's not always going to be around. It's not going to be as accessible, right? Amos 8 and 11, behold, the days come, said Yahweh that I will send a famine in the land, not famine of the bread nor thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh. So again, right now you have um, brothers on the highways and the byways. You have... You have the, um, you know, brothers on the channels, right, um, through the unicorn that are pushing this word all day long in different languages, okay, but all speaking the same thing, okay, but you're not going to be able to hear that in that day, and people are going to wander, um, you know, to and fro to looking for this word. Amos 8, I want to read that again, actually, Amos 8 and 11, behold, the days come, said Yahabashim Rashad, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread nor thirst for water but of hearing the words of Yahweh because again this word let me just get that John 7 and 38 he that believeth in me as the scripture has said out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water so again these words water is able to maneuver through anything and it's always uh, changing and evolving OK, so it's able to, um, you know, endure to the end. And that's how this word is. OK, like uh, rivers of living water. And it, when in your belly, it shall be gushing out of you. You should be fervent in the spirit. OK, especially according to the prophecies. Otherwise, you're going to get hit with that fervent heat. OK, it's important to be on fire, not lukewarm. or Otherwise, the Lord's going to spew you out. OK, Amos 8 and 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea. And from, yeah, so from sea to sea, from place to place, you know, person to person, and from north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh and shall not find it. So again, they're not going to be able to find uh, this word because again, the servants of Yahweh Shem Rashai, uh, Yahweh Shai is going to um, take them away from the streets. Okay. So in that day, because again, that's when ultimately Revelation 7 that the, um, that the elect has been sealed. Okay. And meanwhile, you have on the on the right hand, or you have on the left hand side, this devil pushing forth wickedness, turning the things upside down. Let's just get that. Isaiah twenty five and seven. I will destroy the mountain, the face covering, the cast over all the people, and the veil that is spread over all the nations. So again, that veil that's been over this place. Okay, and how is it being spread through through the unicorn? They're being exposed by these alternative networks. Okay, they're being exposed uh, for the for the um, the scoundrels that they are, the churls that they are. It says Isaiah twenty five and eight. He will swallow up death, and that's Esau Edom. Okay, he's known as death and victory. And when you go into a victory, that goes into palms, goes into the um, the palm branch, and the palm branch symbolizes victory, as it speaks about again in uh, Revelation seven. It says, and the Lord, Yahweh Shem Rashai, will wipe away the tears. Yeah, so again, brothers are crying out through these epistles on the highways and the byways. And, and, the, and the people out there are crying out, but only um, a, a very small residue of uh, men and believers are going to be able to get the understanding. The Lord, Yahweh Shem Rashai, will wipe away all tears from off the faces and rebuke of the people. Shall he take away from all, Saki, take away from off all the earth for the Lord, Yahweh has spoken it. So if he's spoken it, his word does not go out void, okay? And he's not a man that will lie, right? Let me just get, let me get one of those scriptures real quick. 23 and 19. Yeah, right here. It says, Numbers 23 and 19, Yahweh is not a man that he should lie, neither a son of man that he should repent. Hath he said, and I shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken it, and he shall not make it good? So again, if he's spoken it, um, then it's going to happen. And then also, just to back that up again, Malachi 3 and 6, 
Malachi 3 and 6, for I am Yahweh, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So again, his elect are going to be able to be saved. And he that shall endure to the end shall be saved. Because again, this word has to be preached around the four corners of the earth before um, the destruction can happen. That's just showing you how powerful uh, this word is. Let's see. Uh, yeah, right here. Matthew 24 and 14. And the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all the nations. And then shall the end come. So again, then shall the end come. Okay, but the prophecy has to happen first. This is Habakkuk 2 and 14. Habakkuk 2 and 14. For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of Yahweh as the waters cover the sea. So again, uh, John 7 and 38, speaking about those, those rivers of living water. The waters, uh, or Slaki, the, the sea is, is symbolizing the people. And this word is symbolizing those waters. Okay, covering all the people. So again, this word is mainstream. Okay. But there's only, um, you know, starting with the head apostles uh, and elders and the men preaching the same word, starting at uh, GMS, you know, apostles and elders over there. And then the men that have the same doctrine. OK, they're put. That's that's the true doctrine. Right. Because that's the doctrine of Yahweh Shai. That's the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Habakkuk 2 and 15. And this is what's happening to these devils. Right. Woe, which means destruction unto them that giveth his neighbors drink. That puttest out the bottle to him and makest him drunken, also that they may look on their nakedness. So again, that's what's going on. They have given us a strong drink, Roman Catholicism. They've given us, a, a, you know, all, um, our Lord's a white man. Okay, so it's going to be destruction for them, shameful nakedness. So that goes with the, um, you know, you're not able to have the covering of, of this righteousness. Habakkuk two and sixteen. Thou art filled with the shame for glory. Drink thou has let thy fore. Force can be uncovered in the cup of Yahweh's right hand shall be turned into thee. Shameful spewing shall be in glory. So again, these devils are being exposed. They're, they're being the laughing stock, the, the, as it speaks about the Nahum, the, the gazing stock. These other countries are laughing. They're, they're saying that they are strong. Okay, that's shameful uh, spewing. They're being exposed for the, who they are. So I got that, got that. Oh, yeah, so I want to get a little bit of this article. The brother had sent me, um, you know, he sent me a screenshot of this, and then I just looked it up. You know, the brother Ash, you know, Shalom, brother. So this is DHS uh, standing up disinformation governance board led by information warfare expert. It says the board intended to coordinate counter suing, or socket countering misinformation related to homeland security, focused specifically on regular uh, migration in Russia. So again, the, that's what these devils are doing. They're, they have these unrighteous decrees, okay? And they're pushing forth them through their legislation, okay? It says um, a new board, yeah, a new board of Department of Homeland Security will focus on countering misinformation, disinformation. And again, when they're speaking about disinformation, they're speaking about this word, okay? Because again, this word is a dreadful sound. So let me read a little. I haven't really read this yet. I'm just bringing it out right now. It says the newer trend that we saw in 2020 election has already a 2022 midterms is that disinformation is being heavily targeted at Spanish speaking voters, sparking and fueling conspiracy theories. So, again, when you go into that word uh, conspiracy, it goes into uh, two or more. OK, two or more people that are conspiring to do evil and the men of the Lord are not doing that. They're, we're making that public. We're making it or publicize. You're supposed to publicize this word, make it public who you stand for. Either you stand for righteousness or you stand for wickedness. OK, and all these conspiracy. Th that's not a theory no more. These things are, are true. They are faithful and true. It says DHS. And its components play a big role in addressing myths and disinformation, Spanish and other languages and can share. And so why are they, they attacking the Spanish? Because they, they don't have necessarily the things that are going on in America. They might be um, so-called alien, aliens or whatever, so-called immigrants, which they're actually the men. They're actually uh, they're actually the tribe of Israel. They're actually from the tribes. OK, but what does Esau do? They try to expose them um, to be able to use them for cheap labor and things like that because again they don't have the you know a lot of the things that are going on in America they just think it's a nice place okay that's why they're letting all those people in, in, into um America okay which America just means bitter and that's the uh, that goes into the article 42 
where they um they're gonna start letting in people over here and then they're gonna start blaming them for um these certain crimes and things like that and that's how they're gonna be able to come come in with their martial law because there's gonna be so much crime okay which is all prophecy it says can you share what steps you have taken and what future plans you have to address spanish language myths and information through the department-wide approach yeah so they're already trying to blame <laughs> they're already trying to blame you know set up something so they're blaming russia then they're blaming the spanish people meanwhile they're, they're creating iniquity upon their beds it says in february the latest national terrorism advisory system bulletin access the Converging factors of disinformation, persistent calls for violence against critical, often soft targets, recent calls by foreign terrorist organizations to attack the United States have increased the voluntary unpredictable and complexity of the threat landscape. Yeah, so all they have these cyber attacks, and what they do is they blame them on other people. And they already been exposed for it. They know how to do that. They know how to rig the IP address to go to something else. I forgot exactly... Um, you know, the, the technology that it is, but they've already been exposed for that a couple years ago. It says disinformation and misinformation propagated and dismantled by both domestic and foreign actors were listed as first key factors influencing heightening threat environment. Right there, it said actors. OK, and these are these guys are acting. OK, influencing the heightened threat environment with grievousness stroked by of substantial widespread election fraud. Yeah. So. That voting is is you don't vote for no one unless it's a, you know your brother. There is no voting, okay? There is no voting. That's not what you're supposed to do. They have that to to give you an illusion that you can be able to um, change the world, but you can't because a democracy is just going against the constitution, bringing in more and more wickedness, creating a, a tyranny, okay? It says, uh, let's get a little bit more of this. This has been used by domestic violent extremists to justify violence since 2020. Yeah, what happened in 2020, okay? And could continue to inspire as the extremists to target government, healthcare, and academic institutions that associate with those measures. So again, that's them, that's uh, Esau Edom doing that um, so they can be able to attack these certain places to be able to ultimately bring in the Karagma, okay? They want to say, oh, well, we have a solution for you. This is order out of kale. So let's get something real quick. This is Isaiah 29 and 15. I'm about to wrap it up. A couple more precepts. You know, the point is, is that the disinformation is actually speaking about this word. Okay. They're trying to, um, you know, filter. They're trying to <laughs> cool down this fire, that fervent heat. This is Isaiah 29 and 15. Woe, which means destruction unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from Yahweh, and their works are in dark. And they say, who seeth this and who knoweth, knoweth us? So again, Proverbs 15 and 3. Let me just get it real quick. The Lord sees you, okay? And he gives out the order to the prophets of Yahweh Shema Shai to make a video, to make an epistle and expose you. Proverbs 15 and 3. The eyes of Yahweh are in every place, beholding the evil and the good, Okay. And that's what's happening right now. They're being exposed. Let me get a, a, a classic, Isaiah 5 and 20. It says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. It says, Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. So that's all these devils are. They, they think that they're wise, they're hand, hand clapping. You know what I mean? Um, they think they got it. You know, meanwhile, Joe Biden's sh uh, shaking somebody's hand that's not even there. OK, they're being, <laughs> you know what I mean? And they're calling this uh, this thing good. But really, it's to um, try to hide their wickedness. So going back to it, Isaiah 29 and 15, woe well unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from Yahweh and their works and are in the dark. And they say, who seeth us and who knoweth us? 16, surely the turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay for shall the work say of them that made it he made me not or shall the things framed say of him that framed it not he had no understanding yeah so this devil doesn't have no understanding okay who's the potter yahweh who's the vessel uh the you know the the bodies okay one to honor and one to dishonor so now he's trying to act like he is above yahweh okay above the order okay and ultimately that's going to be destroyed because again his pride has deceived him and and um Yahabba Shai, all their all their plans are gonna be in derision. Okay. This is Job 
15 and 21, a dreadful sound is in his ears, prospering. It says, uh, prosperity, the destroyer shall come upon him. So again, now he's getting, he's getting nightmares. He's getting dreams. He's getting visited by the chariots. And that, that's, that's, uh, that's scary for Esau. Cause again, he's been untouched. Joel 15 and 21, the sound of the, and this is in the NLT, the sound of terror rings in his ears. Yeah. So every time he, he looks up, he sees 30 videos that just came up all the truth. <laughs> so that, that that terror is ringing in his ears and even on good days they fear the attack of the destroyer so again that's your okay that's the destroyer coming to, to what seek vengeance he's not coming as a man okay he's coming as an angelic force in his full power okay and that's what um these devils fear the destroyer because they know the power okay but they again they were created to do wickedness I might get that Daniel 12 and 1 to see. Um, <clears throat> this is Isaiah 30 and 20, because again, these words are faithful and true, and the teachers are not going to be hidden no more. They're going to be seen. It says Isaiah 30 and 20. It says, Though the Lord Yahweh Shai give you the bread of adversity and water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. And that's what you're seeing. You see seeing brothers on the highways and the byways making their call on election short. You're seeing epistles going up over and over again. You see the sit downs. Okay. And again, the teachers are not being removed anymore. Okay. They're being seen. Isaiah 30 and 21. And thine ears shall hear a word. Behold, thee saying, this is the way. Walk ye in when you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left. So again, guiding you down that uh, righteous path. Because we know that um, according to John 15... 17, he is the way, the truth, the light. Yeah, so I'll get this. It says, John 15 and 18, if the world hate you, you know that if it hated me before I hated you. 19, if you were of the world, the world would love his own, but because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, because again, Yahweh drawed you out, uh, John 6 and 44, drawed you out and gave the... Um, Gave this, uh, gave the order to Yahushai to be able to wake you up out of gross darkness. Love is own, but because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Yep, so the world's going to hate you if you have this true truth, right? John 15, remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord Yahushai. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. And if they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. So again, if your um, video gets knocked down or, or they knock down your page, that's you um, that's you pushing that heat. Because, again, that's that dreadful sound in his ear. You know what I mean? So he has to say, oh, no, that's not right. <laughs> you know, he has to say that's not right. Okay? So I want to get this. This is the one I want to get. This is John 14 and uh, 6. John 14 and 6, Yahweh Shai said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to me, the Father, Yahweh, but by me. So again, and that's what's going on. You can't go past, um, you can't go past Yahweh Shai. He is that door. Okay, he is that door. Let's get this, Proverbs 4 and 18. Because you should be rejoicing right now. It says 18, but the path of the just is as a shining light that shineth more and more to that perfect day. So what's that shining light? Prophecy. Okay, prophecy that's happening. Prophecy is, is spread across the four corners of the earth, covering the seas, covering the people. And this devil has nowhere to run. Okay. So I'm going to end it right here. This is Proverbs 1 and 20. Wizards cry it without she uttereth a voice in the streets. So again, uttereth in the streets, the, on the highways and the byways. The, the, the teachers are being shown. And again, through these epistles, you know, this is us. Um, you know, to the spirit of Yahweh Shemashai, testifying against Esau, Edom, and his own kingdom, standing stiffly and bold, right, on on that rock, which is Yahweh Shai. Proverbs 1 and 21, she crieth in the chief place of the concourse, in the openings of the gates, in the city, she uttereth her words, saying, how long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity, and the scorners delight in their scorning, and the fools hate knowledge. So again, the fools hate knowledge, they hate this wisdom, they mock and they scoff at it, because again, they don't want order. Just real quick, Proverbs 1 and um, I think it's 7. Yeah, 1 and 7. The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. So again, they don't fear the Heavenly Father. 
So from them not fearing the Heavenly Father, they're not, they're not going to have stability in that time. They don't have that treasure, as it speaks about in Isaiah 33 and 6. So this is Proverbs 1 and 22. How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity and the scorners delight in the scorning and fools hate knowledge? Okay, 23. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. And so how does he pour out his um, spirit unto you? By the prophets, pastors of his own heart. And when you go into that word pastors, it goes into associates. Okay, associates of the business. And what did Yahweh Shai said? I came to do my father's business. Okay, so if he's about his father's business and we're in that image of him, then we should be doing that business, which is feeding the sheep. Proverbs 1 and 24, because I have called you and I and you refuse. So again, he called you. Again, he chose you. Okay, as we read in John 15, he chose you, right? But many are called or few are chosen. Okay, and then also, um, and we're praying we're, we're of that uh, chosen, okay, which is the elect. And um, the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. Yeah, so again, not everybody's going to be able to endure to this, right? Uh, endure through the, uh, toward, uh, to the end, Slaki. Proverbs 1 and 24, because I have called and you refuse, I have stretched out my hand. Who's that hand? Yahweh And no man regarded. Yeah, so they didn't pay attention to that. They mocked and they scoffed. 25, but you have set at naught at my counsel and with none of my reproof. So again, you didn't want correction. You didn't want rebuke. You want to keep uh, walking around with, um, you know, walking around eating pig, uh, eating lobster, eating shrimp. Okay. Not, not uh, repenting for your sins and being ye converted. Okay. You want to walk around. Let me just get that. That's um, two scriptures coming to mind. Isaiah nine and two. This is Isaiah 9 and 2. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, and that's Babylon the great, the shadow of death. Upon them, they had the light shine. So again, that light shined. That also goes into Isaiah 61. And what's that light? The wisdom to be able to walk in that dark place. Okay, but only uh, many are called, but few are chosen. Only the elect are going to be able to endure to the end, to be able to um, you know um, keep that crown upon their head. This is Matthew 4. And 16, it says, the people which sat in darkness, okay, they sat in confusion, saw a great light. What is the great light? This wisdom, okay? And to them which sat in the region in the shadow of death, light is sprung up. So, again, because everywhere, if you go outside right now, there's chemtrails in the air. There's there's strong drink. There's people driving around crazy. That is uh, complete darkness. Matthews 4 and 17, this is the point. From that time, Yahweh Shai began to preach and to say, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So since Yahweh Shai said that, this word has been a fire to, to this kingdom. That's when, uh, you know, this place, um, you know, this word, that was ultimately the latter days. Okay? Because again, the kingdom is at, ha at hand. That's why the prophets are here. Starting with Abba Bivens in about the 1969, uh, 1970 Okay, and he was pushing the word even before that, but that that's when a, a great awakening uh, came out. Okay, then you saw the um, you know the great um, the one west camps. Okay, that that sprung out of that, and then out of those camps you had what GMS you know starting with the uh, head apostle Tahar, and then the apostles on down. Okay, to the camps that you see today. Okay, which which what do they all have the the spirit of the testimony of Yahweh Shai, that light that shines in a dark place. Okay. Proverbs 1 and 24, or 25. But you have set at not my counsel and with none of my reproof. So you didn't hear the men of the Lord. Okay, you didn't reprove yourself. You didn't ask for uh, mercy. Proverbs 1 and 26. I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock you when your fear is coming. So again, so I will laugh when you are in trouble. The time of Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation, famine, pestilence, evil. I will mock you when disaster overtakes you. So again, our Lord's going to laugh at you. It says 27, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you. So again, there's going to be a tempest of, of nature. There's going to be a, a, a wickedness. You know, you got the missiles, you got the famine, you got the sedition amongst people, women getting ravished. Okay, Proverbs, and the Lord's going to laugh at you. Proverbs 1 and 28, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. So again, Amos 8 and 11, as I, they shall wander to and fro, sea to sea. Okay, because again, they're trying to knock down this word from the internet, but the Lord is not going to, um, until all the elect are sealed, that's when he's going to stop it. Okay, but again, it says right here, 29, Proverbs 1 and 29, it says, for they that hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh, 30, 
Yeah, they didn't choose the fear of the, of the Lord. As we read in Proverbs 1 and 7, 30, they would none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. <laughs> Therefore, they shall eat the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. Yeah, so, so they, they shall be choking on their own schemes, their own plots. They trusted in their job. They trusted in their woman. Okay, they didn't trust in Yahweh Hashem HaShai. Okay, they didn't depart from evil. Proverbs 1 and 32 for the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and prosperity of fools shall be destroy them. So again, yeah, they're fools because they're following after a, a, a wicked counsel. They're following after false prophets. Okay, it says, uh, let me get this in the NLT, Proverbs one and thirty-two. For simpletons turn away from me to death. Fools are destroyed by their own compensy. Okay, so they're destroyed by their own uh, their own ways, their own foolishness. Thirty-three. But who's heartened? It says, uh, but whose hearketh into me shall dwell safely and shall be uh, quiet from fear of evil. So again, that, that refuge, that shelter, that secret place. So with that, call out Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakadash, Shalom to Elect, Kwam Yashallah.